All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new mission of Red Dead Redemption. The this is Armadillo USA. Hi, Mr. Marston. How are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm playing well. a mission with Bonnie McFar McFarland. I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the driver's seat. Come on. Oh, it looks like she said I need to take her to Armadillo. Armadillo is pretty much right next door of Mark the McFarlane Ranch. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> buzzard food. You tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's relief. Hope he didn't. Perhaps there's hope for you <laughs> yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always oh Bonnie Marston. doesn't want John Marston to go anywhere. That's all I hear from her. Comes out of her mouth. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Oh, it sounded like one of them got friend zoned. Oh my god, I just ran him over. I didn't realize we were <laughs> friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being oh. funny? Listen, I know that business is Williams and his more business, but. Bonnie know, got you friend zone. Missed, and I don't think oh. you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, yeah, but not wrong. Just did. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate Why is that? For us I wake snakes all the time. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Alright, we're pretty much here. At Armadillo. You lost it. Okay. Slow down. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. Oh, some medicine? First one's on. Antibiotics? Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. I mean, I have enough That's money right. to pay you back, what? Bonnie McFarlane. Was it like Maybe $15? Maybe you the general store when you're done. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I have sixteen hundred dollars. Okay, go to the doctor's office. Okay, purchase some medicine. Hey, Mister. Free. The medicine is probably free because Bonnie's paying for it. Yeah. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for Look one. at that dog. The company never That's hurts so down big. Again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Alright, she's gone. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually second stage, okay, kind of like taxis. What did he just say? I heard Herbert Moon talk crap about me. Alright, I think that mission is done. And I could 
buy property too. And other thing, I think the next mission is I think Nigel West Dickens isn't ready for me, so I'm going to do another Bonnie mission.